Hey guys, this is Roski. This is my first tutorial and most likely will be my last. I'm going to show you how to change the tempo of a sample without affecting the pitch. So, you're going to have your mixer up, load up Edison, drag your sample into Edison, Alright, now right click, put in the tempo of the sample. I know my sample as 126 beats per minute, but if you don't know the BPM of your sample, you can play your sample through Edison, right click, hit tap, and then figure out the tempo by say tapping it with your foot and then clicking on the little faucet picture and that will figure out the tempo you have. Then make sure to exit out of tap tempo, not accept, otherwise it will change your project to that tempo too. Now, once you have your BPM logged into the sample, click right here, drag the sample into the playlist, then go to channel settings for the sample, right click on time, click on auto detect. If you did everything right so far, your tempo of your sample should be right at the top and it should say embedded just like this. Click on that. Then on the drop down, go to pro default. Give it some time to stretch. The pro default and resample, the difference in between the two Resample would have a changed pitch according to the tempo, while Pro Default keeps the pitch and changes the tempo. Then, you should be all set. Go to Song, make sure your metronome is on to check that it matches the BPM, unless if you have a kick or whatever that goes with the beat. Play. sounds pretty good now let's say if I go to the original BPM of the song and the sample it's actually 126 restretch all channels now now this will move it to the original BPM of the song which isn't what we're trying to go for but I'm just gonna show you how it changes with the BPM no matter what it is Now here it is with the original BPM. You arrive in the rising sun. Well, that's about it. Drop any comments if you have any issues, and I'll respond as fast as I can. But uh, that's about it. Alright, thanks. Bye.